G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to pouring your heart out. I'm just taking my resin's temperature, it's almost at 40 degrees. It's the Platinum 360 Plus. And I'm doing this 20 centimetre poinsettia mould. So it's been sitting for, it's been 17 minutes now. And we're on 39.6. I just wanted to get it to 40 degrees and then I will decant it. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go, 40, 40.2. So let me just wipe off a little probe with some alcohol. All right, get my other glove on. So yeah, basically that was, I'm gonna write this down, 17 minutes. Um, and then, oh, I don't know. All right, so I'm just gonna pop 30 grams in there. That's gonna be for my white. Probably don't need to have 30 grams because it's not a huge mold. So that's for my white. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit in here. That's gonna be for my glitter to go around the edge and the rest of it's just going in here. So it feels nice and warm, nice and toasty. Uh, my room temperature is 23 degrees at the moment Celsius, so it's starting to warm up a little bit. Nice warm day today. Nights are still chilly, getting down to 10. <laughs> but um, yeah, the days are pretty warm. All right, so that's that. Now, um, I'm going to... It's really important, and I've told you this before, it's really important to drop your inks as soon as possible. All right. Uh, 5.17. So, like before you do anything else, drop your inks, let them start moving, because uh, while, while your inks are moving and you drop your white in, um, it's going to make your white uh, move as well. So these are the octopus fluid inks. This is the purple. Now because the resin pulls from the outside in it's a good idea to make a little bit more of your center color because it will shrink down. <laughs> Orchidox. And then plum. Plum plum plum. So we're going darkest purple to kind of lighter purple. Well, actually, the last one's more of like a pinky purple. This one's a pinky purple too, but there we go. That was plum. And then the last one for the outside is this berry. Berry juice. Actually, mm, I don't know if I want to do berry juice. I like it like that. Mm, yep. Yeah. This one's, it's, it's much more pink. See, it's much more of a magenta. I think I'll, I think I'll just, oh, oh gosh. All right, here we go. I'm just, all right, I'm just going to put a bit around the edge. This is what I had planned on doing, so let's just do it. These two, these colours can kind of meld into each other a little bit. Just putting it on the outside there, so they'll, they'll spread. All right, so there we go. There's our three colours. Now, the other thing I want to do is, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a little bit of this purple glitter around the outside. So, we'll pop some of that in. Pretty, isn't it? <clears throat> I get my glitter in little bags and then I, I buy these little bottles and I decant them, then I can have them up on my shelf. I can see what colors I'm, I've got. So that's that. Now, where, where the little point is, the ink wants to pull away from it, and here as well. It, it just does that. It's, it's what it does. There and there. It's going to pop another little bit on. 
it's really not a good idea to put too much colour in at the moment. Not too close to when you're putting in your, your white. But it just looked a bit weird. <clears throat> All right, now, oh, a croaky throat tonight. <clears throat> now, the, the glitter, I'm just going to go around the edge here. I like putting in this little paper cup because I can easily go around the outside like that. And that will just sort of frame it. It's kind of darker on the outside and then darker in the middle as well. So I think that'll look quite pretty. It kind of frames the whole thing. Don't need too much. It will spread. I'm not going to use it all because it will spread and, you know, pull in across the top. Got a little bit on the mould. Get off. But yeah, it will move. All right, so now while that's <clears throat> doing its thing, oh gosh, see, look at this, it's still, don't worry about it. Don't put any more ink in now because it'll still be moving uh, when I start putting in my white. <clears throat> so 30 grams, so three drops of Cast and Craft. One, two, three. And then I double that, so six of the white pinata ink. Blanco, Blanco. <clears throat> St uh, shake it up really well because the kind of the white paste sits on the bottom. I'm assuming it's a paste, and then the rest of it's all alcohol. So give it a really good mix up. Now I know there's a little gap there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think once everything starts moving, it'll be fine. It's just not a good idea to start, you know, adding more inks at this stage and having them moving too much. All right, so six drops of the piñata. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give that a stir up. I don't know why I always get one side that just misbehaves. Oh. Because you, you know when you throw a stone in water and it does that ripple effect? You put a drop of ink in and it does the ripple effect. And so then you put another drop in and it also wants to push away. So it's better just to just leave it. <laughs> just leave it. Other than adding more. Because all it's doing is pushing the others away. So put in what you want to begin with and just leave it. This is feeling really warm. I'm just going to wait another two minutes but I'm just going to check its little temperature because it is feeling quite warm thirty eight thirty nine forty okay well I won't wait any longer I usually just like to get it back up to forty so it's about well, actually, it's, there we go. <clears throat> it's, um, it's been 25 minutes, 25 minutes since I stopped stirring. I'm just going to get a piece of paper towel to go around my little cup there. All right, so let's just pipe with the stick, shall we? So basically, just scrape off what's on the bottom and then use the top. Make sure you get a nice thick amount. The first one wasn't thick enough. I just kind of lay it out. I'll come back and do another one on top in a minute. It's kind of going to go inside my little shapes here first. Be good if I had a turntable, hey. But then I need a third hand. One to hold the cup, <clears throat> one to pipe, and one to turn. All right, round we go. That was, wasn't quite thick enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now let's keep going to another 
another row. I like the 3D effect I get with using the stick. Actually, I should do the piping bag again. Not necessarily the rings like I did last time, but actually pipe the petals. I haven't done that for ages. Might do that again soon. Because it has been a while. Now, before I get this too pink, I'm going to go into this top here. Right up close to the edge, like so. I'll fix that drop up later on. Okay, and just keep going. My stick's sort of going into the resin a little bit, kind of dragging through a bit. And we get smaller and smaller as we get to the, the middle there. Okay, now I've got purple resin. Oh gosh. All right, now. Now I don't feel as if I can use any more of this like to go on the outside because it's quite <clears throat> white on the outside. So, where's my little stick gone? Oh, little stick. What have I done with it? Oh, it's right in front of me. Gosh. All right, now this is where I come through and any little dots or funny little shapes and things. We're just going to smooth those out. Any blobs, because the blobs will be heavy and they'll want to sink. So just, if you've got a blob, just smooth it out. bit hard to see through the ink sometimes as to what's going on. Just trying to make some pretty-ish kind of petals. that'll do. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to get my torch out and <clears throat> put it on low. It's only got low and high and just push <clears throat> from the outside and just get this resin moving a little bit. Not too much because um, you've waited for your resin to thicken. So if you heat it too much, the resin is just going to get really thin again and your white will drop through and then you'll get blobs. So just be careful. Don't put too, too much in. Now, I'm just going to give that. I'm a bit off center. <laughs> oh, my center's moved a bit. I'm just going to wait a minute or a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and do my little a little swirl so hopefully it's going to bloom so I'm just going to put you on pause just for a couple of minutes get my gloves off you wait until it's you know started to bloom in the middle a bit and then um, and then do your swirl if you're going to swirl I'll give it a quick torch anyway just to pop some bubbles This, this is where I added that extra ink and it's kind of pushed away. So this is what I'm saying to you, don't, don't do it. Refrain, restrain yourselves. It's pushed in. Anyway, I'll come back in a few minutes, okay? 
So it's been a few minutes. I think it's kind of finished moving. Hopefully it's finished moving. So um, just do the little, the little swirl, shall we, in the centre. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Alrighty, so um, I don't think I'm going to do a background on it. I don't think so. Um, I'll bring you down for a, a close up. I'll just get that off my tripod. So it's a little bit off centre, but. Now it's a bit hard to see the white petals against the white mould, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit tricky. So sometimes I pour the glitter around the edge first and then fill the mould and it kind of spreads more. This time, as you saw, I poured the clear in first and then Put the edge in so it doesn't tend to move as much that way so it depends what you like if you like a, a more definite edge of glitter pour it after and if you want it more wispy and floating across the top then pour it in first all right here you go hopefully it's worked it's looking promising but you just never know um, yeah I don't think I'll do a top coat We'll see. We'll see. I might. Um, but purple. No. Oh, not purple. Because if you do purple, then you won't see the edge. Because that's purple. Hmm. It would have to be more of a magenta. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it. I will see you guys tomorrow when it's cured. Right. So it's the next day. This has set up beautifully. It's not bendy. Let's get it out. All the way around. I'm still having my coffee. <laughs> it's one of those days, you know, where you're just excited to get out to the studio. All right. There we go. I oh, hope it works, you guys. All right. Oh, it's even beautiful on this side, isn't it? Look at that purple edging we've got there from that glitter. All right. So what I'm going to do, just to give you the full effect, I'm going to put my little piece of card over the back. It's just around. It's not the exact size. So anyway, because you can't see the, the petals um, if you don't have a dark background. I can't see them as well. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. I love it. Look at my swirl in the middle. See, that's what happens when you, you wait a little bit until everything started blooming and then you do your swirl. Oh, wow, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at the depth on these. Wow. Sorry about that icky reflection. All right, so that's what it looks like without the black. Um, see, you can't really see the, the white petals as well. You really do need to do a background. Um, but yeah, I thought if I do a, a dark, like a purple background, then you won't be able to see the glitter. But in hindsight, you probably would have been able to see it a little bit. There's with the white. See, it just doesn't, the petals don't stand out with, um, with the white as they do with the black because they're white petals, obviously. And what other colours have I got? Let me see what other colours I've got. I've got a pink one. I haven't got a purple one though. I'm going to have to go to the news agents and get myself some some more card. So you can have a look and see sort of what colour suits. Um, and then you can just put this up onto a little container, something like that to get it up off the ground and then pour your top coat because there's, um, there's a little lip. I don't know if you can see the little lip. There's a little lip there so you can top fill and it just kind of sits in there and it doesn't run over because 
it's got a little wall there so that's a that's an option you can take it out and see what color you want to do otherwise look black black always works a dark color like a dark purple dark magenta um, just to show up those petals because if you don't have anything or you have white you can't see your petals but there we go oh I love it I love it I love it all right I'm gonna go and finish my coffee now <laughs> I'm gonna sit with the dogs and um I'll go and watch some YouTube. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you loved this video and I will see you real soon for the next one. Okay. Take care guys. Bye for now.